When you were angry, you functioned more intelligently? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Is it possible? I… yes. You… you may have functioned more forcefully. No. More intelligent. Yeah. I'm very Ang serious. Anger means something is out of control, isn't it? Hmm? Yes. So when you're out of control, do you function more intelligently? Or when you're balanced and clear, do you function more intelligently? From anger. Hmm? <laughs> I'm serious. No. Very… because I tap into a different source of energy. I go beyond <clears throat> what I would normally think and I'm serious. I'm Yes, anger is definitely a lot of energy, no question about it. And you can channel that anger and get a lot more than you would otherwise. See, anger is definitely intense. I'm telling you, if you can maintain your anger for twenty-four hours at a high pitch, you will get enlightened. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm not joking, really. If you can just maintain your anger right at the peak for twenty-four hours' time, you'll be enlightened. But can you maintain it? It's always falls back because the volume of energy that it consumes is so high, nobody can stay there. There have been yogis who are angry all their life, simply angry, not about anything, not about anybody, just angry all the time like fire. You heard of such people in the tradition? Hmm? Your Durvasa was there, all the time angry, not about anybody or anything, simply angry because it's burning intensity. But anger as an emotion that you're going through doesn't definitely lead to intelligence, it may lead to forceful action. Or when you're angry, maybe you get propelled into action. Otherwise, you don't have the necessary decisiveness to take action. When you're angry, you're decisive. This way or that way, isn't it? There is more decisiveness in you when you're angry, yes? Because it's one track. Whenever you're in a one track mind, you're dead sure of everything. Only when you multi track your mind, then everything is in question, everything needs to be subject to various things. So in anger, it is not that your intelligence is enhanced, it cannot be. It is just that because of the intensity, maybe a little more things are available to you sometimes, possible. But at the same time, if you can be intense without anger, if you know how to keep your life energies very intense without any sense of anger, you would definitely function far better. See, it is not the anger, it is the intensity which is making you decisive and active. Suppose you could maintain that kind of intensity and more without anger, would it be fine? See, right now if, I, if we sit here, if you want me to sit here like this for the next three days, I will not go for food, I will not go for bathroom, I will sit here and continue the program next three days, day and night. Will you? Because you'll get exhausted, simply because there's no intensity of energy. If you crank up your energy to a sufficient pitch, you can simply sit here with full intensity. Sleep and lack of food, exhaustion doesn't take a toll on you because your energies are intense. So it is the intensity of energy that you're enjoying in anger. Unfortunately, most people know intensity only in anger. But if you knew the intensity of love, if you knew the intensity of compassion, if you knew the intensity of ecstasy, definitely you wouldn't choose anger as an option, isn't it? Yes? You are choosing our anger as an option because it's easy to get there and easy to fall out too. <laughs> but uh, every day… Listen, are you running some business? No, that's why you're safe. You're a government employee <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Actually, actually, I can't… what I'm doing, I can't afford to express it. Except in Okay. Every day, if you're running a business, just get angry with one customer. Only one. 
enough to ruin your business, isn't it? You're married, in twenty-four hours, every day, just for five minutes, get angry with your wife, your marriage is ruined. But the anger can be at yourself. Hmm? You can be very <coughs> angry with yourself and okay. it's anger there. Okay, if you're very angry with yourself, you will be going to the doctor shortly. <laughs> yes, it will take a toll on the system, won't it? Is it taking already? Not yet, not yet, it'll happen. <laughs> It'll happen <laughs> It's not a prediction, it's bound to happen. If you do certain things with the system, certain results will come. If the constitution is strong, it'll take a little longer. If it's weak, it'll happen quick, that's all. But it's bound to happen. When you're angry, is it a pleasant experience? Is it a pleasant experience? Starts with not being pleasant mm -hmm. and then when you look when you stay away from the mind and perceive it as you so nicely said, you begin to become grateful for that because there's a message somewhere that you're looking for. There's a message somewhere? In that anger, uh, which What's means the there's some part of your body is reacting and you, and you try to perceive what it is and uh, you don't… No, get being angry, is it a pleasant experience? Not what happens later. Okay. Is um, it a pleasant experience? No. No. So anybody who creates unpleasantness within himself, could you call that person intelligent or stupid? Create unpleasant… okay, uh, now, now, um, I would say intelligent <laughs> And I'll tell you, please, 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 because if you can generate that energy… No, 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 we will see what happens later, we will examine that. Anybody who creates unpleasantness for himself, there's sufficient unpleasantness in the world, isn't it? You don't have to manufacture it, isn't there enough? It's hard to avoid it. <laughs> you have to walk carefully not to step into it, isn't it? There's sufficient unpleasantness in the world. And not getting into it itself is quite a feat. Now you start producing unpleasantness within you for yourself. Do you call this intelligence or stupidity? Forget about yourself, okay. anybody who causes unpleasantness to himself, would you call that man intelligent or stupid? <laughs> I'll go with the rest, okay, stupid. Don't go with the rest. We're I talking would say about intelligent. somebody else, not I would him. say intelligent if they can engineer that unpleasantness. See, engineering is later. I'm talking about creating unpleasantness. You're talking about Okay, somebody poured a heap of shit on you. You took it and took it to your garden, instead of getting upset, you went and put it in the garden, made manure out of it. That's smart, I understand that. But now, you filled yourself with shit. Is this smart? I've got a t-shirt that says, my life is in ruins. And I truly mean that because it's from there that I get my energy. I actually sometimes engineer That's these fine. situations. Right now the only way you know how to propel your body and mind is with unpleasantness. So if you can do it with pleasantness and unpleasantness, what would… which would you call as intelligent and which would you call as stupid? There is something to do right now, okay? Yeah. We want to eat food. Somebody makes food nicely and eats it in a pleasant way. Somebody else makes the same food in an unpleasant way, but it becomes nutritious for him also. Which is a more intelligent way of eating? The pleasant way. So which is a more intelligent way of propelling yourself to higher level of activity, both mentally and physically? Pleasant way or unpleasant? Pleasant way. Unpleasant way is stupid? <laughs> yes, it is. That's all it is. Yeah.